What's up, guys? Welcome back for another EVE Online video. We're on the test server. I'm going to be uh, demonstrating the stealth bomber and weapon system and just kind of how stealth bombers work. And uh, we'll be just kind of throwing them against uh, frigates, some uh, exploration stuff. Obviously, we're going to be taking a lot of things in, into account here. Uh, we're going to make a lot of assumptions, essentially. What I normally like doing is like camping relic sites. Um, I'll find the biggest, the richest, I guess, node. And uh, I usually like just keep it 30 add it and then wait for a new to pop in and when they start hacking i uh i just kind of like let everything fly at them sometimes um i get lucky depending on like the their uh shield skills if they have a micro warp drive running that makes their signature a lot bigger as well but i'm just going to kind of give you guys an idea of how stealth bombers or bombers in general work so as you can see here i am cloaked in a purifier right here and i am 30k from this uh this Wii 2 that we reinforced when we were testing this. But uh, this is essentially acting as like the node that would be on like the data relic site, right? And then uh, I have my alt out here in a heron, heron. And it normally people who are flying out here, like alphas or something, if they're in a heron or buzzard or even an astro, most of their modules are not going towards tank. So I have her essentially just running a micro warp drive, which brings her signature radius from 40 all the way up to 240. And she is currently uh, 24, 2500 away from that uh, Wii 2 as well. So the way that bombs work is they're going to go in a straight line in the direction your ship is facing. And this I'm using a normal since it's a purifier, I'm using a electron bomb, which is going to do EM damage. And what it's going to do is it's going to go out to 30k and then explode within that radius. It has a flight time of like 12 seconds or so. And so normally what I do when I'm doing this on the live server is I'm going to step one decloak. Then I'm going to launch the bomb. Or I'm actually going to decloak, target, launch bomb, launch uh, missiles, and then target paint. Normally, if I'm really lucky and if it's like a heron or if it's like a buzzer and they're like, you know, really low um, shield skills and everything, it's uh, usually an insta pop. Um, and I'll kind of demonstrate that as well. And I'd, like I said, most people who are running exploration sites are leaving their micro warp drive on because they'll just, you know, go hack the node really quick and then just move on to the next node. Uh, very rarely do I see people actually just like dropping their micro warp drive until they need it. And so, like I said, we're going to make a lot of assumptions with this, but, uh, I've uh, had a lot of fun doing this tactic on live. So like I said, what we're going to do here is I'm going to just go through like the steps and kind of show you how, uh, how it looks here. So normally I, when I see them uh, fly in and I'm already kind of like watching that node, I usually like switch to first person to make sure I'm still pointed in the direction I need to be because the bombs will only go in a straight line from where the ship is pointed but we'll get in a uh, third person view so you can kind of see what's going on here so step one is i'm gonna decloak i'm a target bomb lock and then i'm gonna hit the two the the missile and the target painter and it'll automatically shoot once we get target lock there is the bomb right there and also we have um, missiles inbound as well and we're already painted and that's a one shot on the heron we'll go ahead and target this uh this capsule here as you can kind of see what the bomb would do just to a capsule obviously if they pop out they're probably going to go ahead and warp out by the time you can launch a bomb but most of the time you can actually like kind of hit them as well with this but we'll just kind of demo the bomb once it's ready to go and we're still uh, facing the right direction so what i'm gonna do is since we're 32 out i'm just gonna approach a tiny bit until i see 30 which is so we're pointed right at it i'm gonna approach a little bit more just to get her in the center, I'm going to launch that bomb. I'm going to stop my ship because you just want to make sure you're not actually going forward. You don't want to run into your own blast radius either. So we'll see what that does. And also, you don't have, like, another thing I should note is you don't have to be target locked for the bomb to go off, right? So see, it, since that uh, pod has such a uh, small uh, signature radius, it doesn't actually kill it completely. So but normally I'm not worried about the uh, pod too much. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to put the alt in another Heron and we're going to leave the micro warp drive off and then we're going to actually just fire the bomb at the um, Heron without doing the missiles or the target painter and we'll see what the damage for that looks like. 
All right, so we've got my alt on her way back to the mobile depot. And so what we're gonna do for this iteration is I'm gonna get her around 5,500 meters from the mobile depot to simulate the distance that you'd be from a node in order to use the hacking analyzer or whatever. And then I'm also not gonna run her micro warp drive. So instead of having like a 240 signature radius, she's gonna have like a 40. And then we're only gonna shoot the bomb off. Um, so you can just see how much damage will, uh, will be impacted there. Let's go ahead and get her kind of positioned here. So she's currently 2400 from the mobile depot, but I'm gonna go ahead and make her range. I'm gonna have her just be at 6,000 meters. Have her keep it range at 6,000 meters. What that's gonna do is it's gonna basically simulate, you know, a maximum distance from a node. And we'll just kind of like watch our little, uh, our bomb radius in relation to where she's at a little bit. So if you're gonna do like the data relics, data relic site kind of camp and stuff like that, you want to make sure that they kind of get in range. You know that they've kind of started hacking, and you want to go pretty quick, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop cloak. We're gonna fire the bomb. Hopefully the server, you know, latency is good to us. And that's gonna fly out. See how much damage we do. I'm gonna go and target her. It just went off. So it did quite a bit. It took her shields completely down and everything. And at this point, if they're trying to warp off. We do have, on this vid, I have like 64 kilometers on these missiles as well. And so that's why I just go full spread at them. You know, I'll drop cloak, target them, fire the bomb, and then activate the uh, launcher and the target painter so once that target lock happens we got missiles in the air we got torpedoes in the air and we also have the target painter up so even at that distance being on like a little bit further out from point zero is uh works out pretty well but for uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this uh little stealth bomber demo if you guys have never actually used uh this weapon system before it's pretty interesting and uh these uh, ships are pretty cheap too, right? This purifier fit that I've got runs, um, and I'll put the fit for this in the description, but it runs like, I wanna say maybe 70 million, depending, you know, really, uh, anywhere between 50 to 70 million, which normally if I pop one Explorer, if they have less of their cargo hold, pays for it itself. It also works a lot better with um, higher class targets. So if you're going after anything bigger than a frigate, like a cruiser a battle cruiser or anything like that it, it does even more damage right so you can actually like kind of point this at like a stargate um wait for somebody to kind of come in and um do things that way and also you've heard of bomber fleets right you can covert off these as well so you can have a buzzard flying around find a target pop a covert sino a bunch of bombers you know follow that sino and then basically all approach target and fire bombs also they can just inherently run like the torpedoes as well which makes them really cheap kind of torpedo boats but for the most part they're glass cannon i don't really put a whole lot of um shield or tank on these because they're even with a good tank they're relatively easy to kill so it's kind of like a uh, hit and run kind of a you know weapon system kind of a tactic but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time peace out